<clears throat> Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy Green Pastures Farm today. My special guest is Isaac and Jackson. And guys, what have y'all been doing? It looks like you've got a new shoot there in place. What's up? Oh, uh, we were pretending we were Egyptians, <laughs> trying to build the pyramids. <laughs> we had to move it the old-fashioned way. How'd you get that? First of all, what did we do here? We had an old shoot in here. Yeah, we ripped it out and put put a pad in. That's uh, concrete. Concrete. Our friend George and his crew came up and poured it for us. So it's 12 feet by 5 feet. I believe. Yep. You guys built it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. that's correct, yeah. Yep. yep. And so we got the something solid to set it on, and we're going to be putting the load, the weight, uh, the scales. The, uh, so we're going to have livestock scales. Livestock scales on it. But... An hour ago, it was sitting over on those blocks <laughs> over there. Clear, clear over there. Yeah. And this thing weighs like 6,000 pounds. Yeah, it's not light. <laughs> so y'all tell me y'all picked that up and moved it over here? Well, yeah. Physically? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. how strong he is. Yeah. Well, yeah. We will. 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 Whatever that is, 40 feet up here and got it nice and low. I came back and you all had it put in place. Mm -hmm. How'd you do that? Oh, yep. Yeah. So we took our three inch foam fill posts that we use for corners and we lined this whole stretch with them and jacked up the, uh, the head catch so we can get it underneath it. And we got the Kubota you have behind you over there. You're, uh, Gas or diesel side by side. Yep. Got a string of chains and uh, toe straps, and then pulled it through the chute. So you, you lined it up with the old chute. Yep. And you just you just started pulling it like Egyptian style. Yep. Right? Yep. And a roll of really smooth. Although okay, I see all the way yep. back. Uh -huh. Yep. There's the old chute back in there. So you had the Kubota out there in the pasture. The pasture. Yep. Pulling straight. Uh -huh. It worked just fine. It's pretty funny. Well, <laughs> I was on the cell phone and I was going slowly and he was watching yeah. it to make sure. Was just, well, you had to make sure you put a pole in front of it constantly. Or you already had them we all. Had a pretty good spread. It'd bind up for once in a while and I'd redistribute it. Mm -hmm. So it worked pretty good. So you're thinking the Egyptians, that's the way they moved them great big old po uh, blocks. Yeah. yeah. Could be. Could be. I don't know. <laughs> It worked, that's for sure. Uh -huh. Well, you moved, I don't know, this thing's probably, uh, it's got to be 5,000. It's heavy. It, it's all that John Deere wants to pick it up. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, it feels a little bit light on the back end when I pick it up. Well, once we got it on the rollers up here, too, we were able to shimmy it by, by hand yep. the rest of the way. Yeah, well. All right, so we've, <clears throat> we've got the Lakeland, and we're, we're getting brackets made at a welding shop. That'll go on our load cell. And the load cell is going to go where? Right there. Well, right here. Yeah, you've got them right there. Mm -hmm. So we're getting brackets made. This whole thing's going to be setting on a set of scales. Yep. So we can weigh cattle now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. It's going to be nice. I'll have to get a car battery to do it, but because there's no electricity. No, you don't. Oh, don't. No, this thing's, uh, you, you uh, charge it and it, it will stay. I think you can run it for 24 hours. Nice. That'd be perfect. Mm -hmm. And you can download it onto your cell phone. It's a, it's got the Datamar. Bluetooth or whatever. Yeah, it's got yeah. Bluetooth. Oh, that's uh, it's a true test. Uh, we'll do a full separate video on the scales, but I think they're going to be pretty darn slick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Now, show, show some of the features of this Lakeland. This is a head catch that we got. And what, you were talking earlier about some of the things the old one didn't have that this one does have. So you got with your latch, it's not quite calibrated right, but it's supposed to be to where you push and it, you pull and it opens and you push and it closes. So okay. So that and then it's solid. it can't come back open. Yep. Uh, well, that's a big advantage of what we had. Forward. Yep. Which is nice. All the way in there. Pretty, pretty big size. Yeah. Than these other ones. And then you can also. Oh, also, you can, can go way that way. Shut them in there if you need to. I'll be doing that one. Our old one didn't do that. No. They thought of everything on this thing. My goodness. Um, What's that hand right there by your head? That's your. Uh, you want to release that? That closes your chute. You're telling me you can catch the cow from back here? Mm -hmm. You don't have to be standing up there? Yeah. Uh, 
That way, when you're following, when you're following your cow, you're at her blind side. You shut your door. This is all open. And then you come here, and as she's running through your head catch, you, you catch her. Close it on her without having to be up there. <laughs> that's how gonna. Easy it is. I think that's gonna be pretty darn slick. Yep. Then we got the better uh, door for the calves. Well, Jackson, yeah. show show how they're doing that. The whole thing opens up, mm -hmm. and so you don't. The old one, you had to go in there and manhandle it. Yeah, but we got and, right over there. We could show. Them. And pick it up and, and set it out. This mm -hmm. one's getting on a hinge, mm -hmm. and it exposes the whole deal. Right, it's nice and open. And uh, Jackson, you were talking about this this uh, bar here in the middle. Center bar. Yeah. <clears throat> we're debating about whether or not it's going to hold up the cattle. That's yet to be seen. But I was thinking that whenever we go in here for banding or banding bulls, oftentimes when you go in there, they start dipping their chest down. Yep. It's going to prevent them from doing that. They can't lay down. Right. Yeah. So we'll see. I think that, that would be a good thing to keep in there when you're banding bulls. Slow up. Yeah. The flow. Maybe we don't have it in during tagging, but we do. With right. Banding something like that. Right. We'll close the door and then show. I think you want to show the. Bar. I guess you would call the bar on the butt. It's got its own holder. <laughs> okay, what do you so got there? Remember to put it back in there. See, yeah. now you got your cow in there. Yeah. She's trying to back up. And so, as as she's being a turd, you can walk. You can walk this uh, bar up like a ratcheting system. So as you as you move forward, it won't go back. And so that a lot, you know. Okay. She's putting the back pressure. Right. And then you're not. You're not having to get kicked and the bar can stay in there a lot better. Yeah. If you're having to take it out. Put yeah. It back in, take it out. Yeah. Back in. Which is what we had to do before. Yeah. And then uh, show show how these how those work. These these. So these are just a little little. There's just a little rod there that slides up, and they uh, they come down, and it's just a slam latch. And you mean you don't there. have to pick up on it? Nope. I'll it's, be darn. Look at that. Yeah. It's uh, already set. Easy to do. So that gives you full access to the, the the bull calf or whatever you want to castrate. And then you were showing this little. Okay, there you open the chute. There's your width. Let me look in here. So you okay now go ahead and close this. Yeah. Don't catch my neck. <laughs> Wow. You can catch calves here. And then, oh, this. Okay, now let's go ahead and close the head catch. Oh, yeah, the whole thing opens up. Right. Can the other side, the other side does it too. Yep, both sides for the calf and for the cow. That is cool. And then, that opens up. What'd you up. just do there? Uh, if you're giving them a shot on their neck, you can get in there and double arm. So hold on a minute. Let's act like there's a cow in there. Jackson, you get there and stick Go your head. You stick your head through there. No, I'm just yeah, kidding. Yeah, I can do it. Ja uh, Isaac, you close I the head. My head in there. No, you close the head catch. Close the head catch. Okay, now you've got a cow caught. This little trap door here on the side. Let's get them on both sides. It's got one of these on both sides. Yeah. What's the advantage of having that little trap door there on the side? Well, if you're in here trying to get your arm through and that cow moves and stuff, you could break your arm uh, just because the animals are so quick. So this allows you to have freedom to work on their neck without hurt. you know. You yes. Plenty of room to move around. Yes. She can't pinch your arm against a piece of steel. Yep. It's easy to operate. Man. Um, I'm looking forward to using this thing. Yeah. This thing's set up in a way that so your release is right there to release them. And then this little keeper, this thing here, I, I was perplexed as to what that was before. But as you go back, this bar lifts your back end the, or the back latch up. Oh, and so it, it locks it. It prepares it for the next one. And then when it comes next, one, it locks it in. I'll be darned. So if you want to release, you know, and that it won't release the cow, only after you let a cow through. Let a cow through. Yep. All the way. That is, I think they've thought about just about everything. Yeah. 
Yeah. And you can work the chute from old. Well, what's this one here, dude? Release. So you got to release on both sides. You got a and you got to catch on both sides. Yeah. It so if you're left handed. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's, a, there's not an overhead latch on the other side. Looks like you can install one. It's got the bracket for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, it does have the bracket. Yeah. It's a nice deal. I'm looking forward to using it. Yeah. This well, this greased. is a Cadillac. It's all greased up. Yeah. Yeah, it needs some grease on those yeah. hinges. Yeah. Well, this is the Lakeland. Far there's their website. Uh, LakelandFarmAndRanch.com. Of course, there's the phone number. If you're interested in talking with Lakeland about one of these. We'll know more about it when we start using it, but I'm pretty excited about the the conveniences that it uses. Um, Isaac, on this trap door on the back, the yeah. sliding door, you remember what we had on the other one? The wood, we had yeah, to replace it, the wood constantly. It would, it would get stuck on the ground. Yeah. So it, would, it wouldn't keep sliding. This is, this is going to be... I mean, this door's not... That's not going to... That's yeah. not going to rot, and it can't get stuck because it's not touching the ground. Yep. You got a lock. Yeah. Open, open that puppy up. Yeah. All it is is you just pull. Oh, you just pull. Pretty nice. Wow. I'm gonna shim this up to where. What it is is this stopper. Yep. It needs to be a little bit longer, so it's right there. So that when you push it shut, it goes right up over there. It's right here. See it? Oh yes. It's like probably a quality control thing. I wonder if there's an adjustment on that. There may be, or I, th I think we just need a stopper right there so that it stops. Yep, right there. Does that? Yep. And then as it goes across, yep. it'll lap properly. Yeah. Sure enough, that's what it is. Because you can, uh, if you hold the handle up a little bit, it does it perfectly. Does. Yeah. I think a little piece of shim on that's got that fixed. Yep. Wow. Well, guys, thank you all for that's taking fun. time to show the shoot. And I'm kind of impressed y'all got that put in the little time I was going. Better than I thought it was. Yeah. <laughs> thank goodness for a three inch fiberglass round rods. Right. Yep. I don't know how she would have got it in here. I mean, there wasn't any other way other than just, uh, I, well, a tractor may be pushing it, but then you'd probably tore something up. Mm -hmm. So we've got some ideas we've been talking about. We're going to do a little bit more gate out here on the edge and maybe build another sorting pin or two in here. And so here's the old one. Out to pasture. Yeah, it's been put out to pasture. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> it served us well. Um yeah, we're going to use it. We're going to put it on another farm that we've bought. We don't have a head catch over there. But, folks, if you're going to buy one of these, uh, get it up on rock. And uh, I'll pull this back. Can you pull that back, Isaac? I can't do it with one. Yeah. This isn't a bad suit. It's just, it doesn't have the bells and whistles that other one. So we used to have to get this off. Yep, you got to pull it. Pull that out. Back in is the pain. Yeah. That thing's not light for one man, especially if you, with my back. Yeah. Even you're, you're having trouble. That's just, that's just fun to handle, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you can tell, you know, we had it up on rock. It's still structurally sound. It didn't. I don't have any damage and rust on it that, where the metal actually rusted away. But we're going to put this over at what we call Marshall's Farm. It'll still get used. Yep. And we'll probably put a couple of posts on each side and put a couple of pieces of tin over it. Just keep the, keep the water off of it. Water and the sun and the, the rain and the snow, it just makes it run better. So, yep, that's the old one. Well, folks, I'm going to get out of here, and uh, everyone have a good one. Hit that subscribe button all the way out, and uh, we'll see you all next time.